Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Player 2 Plays. My name is Matt Houston and I'm here with Aliens Dark Descent. Uh, this is the new strategic Aliens game um, from Focus Interactive and I've only just started. I've played the like tutorials and kind of avoided the story beats for you because I think an alien movie and, and story in general, you need, you need that story. Uh, and, and you don't want to I don't want to spoil it for you but here we are we're kind of the first mission with the with the control of the colonel the colonial marines and uh, we're stuck in a spaceship with aliens uh, that's all you need to know at this point in time uh, but let's check it out it is a real-time strategy game not a turn-based which is interesting it's an interesting choice I haven't played enough to make a judgment yet but it's an interesting choice so let's go um, like I said you're uh, Joining me with it. Cerberus it can, protocol in effect. It controls what really well on a controller. Cerberus protocol. It no actually clue. controls better on a controller than a mouse corners. and keyboard. It's planetary because you quarantine. Have a Nothing better in? control of, of the Nothing camera out. and stuff, I think. Sounds like a real party. So uh, yeah, I think this is gonna play well on consoles. Um, whether it's a good game yet or not, I can't tell you, but we're gonna check it out together. I'm keen, I love aliens, so I even have a soft spot for the shitty alien movies, to be honest. Like, I, I think Resurrection is an absolute mess in places, but at least it was different, right? I think it was better than Alien 3, because Alien 3 was just a mess of corporate interference, I think. And then, you know, Prometheus and Alien Covenant are fine for what they are. Prometheus is a bit boring, and Alien Covenant was just, yeah, kind of redoing the old beats. But uh, I've still got a soft spot for them. Alien and Aliens, of course, are stone-cold classics. They're unbeatable. Um, so here we go. Anything here? You can check out all these rooms. I don't know if there's, like, exploration bonuses or things like that. I don't really know. Maybe there is. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we can't go through this way. We have to go through this way. Yeah. <clears throat> you okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. Harper? We've got movement. Uh -huh. Okay. I can see it. It's up there. Right. Could duck them down behind cover. He's up here. Let's look at my mini map there. See where he is. I tell you what, it's setting the mood really well. Getting closer. We're gonna come through here and he's gonna be in here like some bitch. Manning? Uh -huh. Where are you going? It's not safe here! It's not! Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No, you don't understand! It's here! It's here! Hey! Light it up! Automatically open fire. Okay, while well running. Pies up! That thing's still out there! Okay. Take him out! Use ah, the grenade! Face huggers. Okay. 
Marines have access to skills. Okay. Eat this. Squirrely bastards, ain't they? Okay, cool. All right. Like I said, this is still very early we need on. that elevator. Punch it. About all I've skipped is the uh, the um, tutorial, like Tracking, they're very interesting. Lighting up. All right, set for suppressing fire and check your targets. Okay, open the skill menu. Select suppressing fire by using RB and. There we go. Ah, right, cool. Getting closer, closer. All right, for my cool. Own. It's trying to implement some of that Steady. kind of X XCOM style thing into a real-time environment. Interesting. Is that you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Severus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Oh, all right. Quarantine breach in progress. Deadly force authorized. Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. Alright. Let's go. Still, I'm... Oh, no. What? It's blood is... Some kind of acid. Fuck. What kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. Latimer, you fit to move? I'm... Not dying here. All right. Let's get off this damn station. All right. Cool. Oh, Marines limping. Right. This is injury penalties. We need Latimer Mobile ASAP. I'll break open the medkit. Okay. Let's see how we go. Interact. Shit! Ugh. Ah! Ruiz, you're making it worse! Mish, don't be such a baby. There you go. You ain't pretty, but that ship sailed long ago. Gee, thanks. Okay. Shit, they're in the walls! Your Marines have access to skills that help wing. Okay. Yep. They're too close! Aim and confirm the skill with A. Hey, yes, I am. Switch to side on those things are handy for close encounters. 
Alright. So, it kind of gives you this slowdown effect, it seems, while you're doing things. So it's almost turn-based, but not, like, it's got this pause functionality. Kind of like an old-school RPG, even, that did stuff like that. You know, when you got into combat and paused and gave you uh, time to what do what you wanted to do. Which is cool, because, like, this is going to be real fiddly if you're trying to do everything on the fly with aliens coming at you. For a migraine. Seriously, Sarge? What's up with you? Move! No! We're in danger! He's some kind of kind of shrink. So a psych, sorry. Shrink. Ah! Sergeant Harper, pull it together! We have to leave! Yeah, yeah, I heard you! Corporal Hudson, get your ass down here! Hot evac! All right, all right. Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Order a Marine to lay suppressive fire. Shit! Reading multiple contacts. Closing fast. How many of those things are there? Too many. We have to go. More of them are coming! Hold your position, Marines! Well, don't worry, Hunslet. There's no rush. It's not like we're all gonna die. Okay, when you you activate slow mo, this will give you time to use. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Um, but it, like solid bones, really solid bones. It's definitely... Um, Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pound there. Getting the, the feeling of aliens right. And getting the... Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Getting the... Uh, Hansel, can you get us aboard? The kind of ambiance no and the, and the, the debris tension and, the and all those things Death trap. that are really important. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's, it's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah, you know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit, there she goes. Fuck, follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss.
Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Ace, you better come with me. Ooh, the shitteth have hitteth the faneth. God damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago's shithoused. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. Do you want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price needs to- You heard, to Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger, and no way to contact them, right? But what about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. That doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people- You find a way we can do that? Then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway. Ooh. Okay. Medical quarters. I'm Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the med bay's being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Ah, oh, right. You can assign a physician to your... This is kind of the meta side of things. This one's a priority. Understood. Cool. Now we can go to the workshop. Hello, this is the... There is a lot of XCOM in this. Um, even though the combat is kind of this real-time hybrid, there's a lot of this, this kind of the meta sort of stuff that XCOM does is in here, which is cool. I like that. I do. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckles have to support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Need a gun, administrator? One's functional again. Okay. Cool. Hey, Rook. Now the laboratory. Administrator Hayes, I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo-sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me, either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? 
Who provides their weapons? Hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. Stay safe out there. Ooh. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. They're all dead already. Oh no. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines. They all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes. Which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lead the squad and an officer'd run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm gonna keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. Ooh, there's the setup. All right, we're gonna go and check out a mission. Why not? Let's do it. Operations ready in the following areas. Okay. Understood. Uploading mission data. They're going to select Marines and modify their equipment. This is really like, in a lot of ways, like XCOM. Cool. My, uh, it seems my webcam is playing up a little bit. Sorry about that, folks. But uh, it doesn't seem to be affecting the game. But... Marines, listen up. I know we're hurting, but we got us a go mission. We pulled in a partial signal from the settlement of Dead Hills. We don't know exactly what's happening there, but after what we've seen up... Alright. Let's do it. Tactical from the ARC, while Hayes runs support from the Otago. Administrator Hayes, are you settled in up there? I think so. This tech's old, but I can work with it. Don't let Corrigan hear you say that. Okay, standard recon. Get the perimeter gate open, and let's see what's going down in this burg. On it. Okay. Affirmative. All right, let's see what's in there. Sounds like our first task is to secure the landing control zone. If 
things go south, fall back to the ARC and let the big guns do the talking. Do you hear? Come on, team! Doors locked. Run a bypass. Let's get in there. Copy. Okay. Roger. Move on! Hey, Harper. No sign of movement from up here. Do you see anything? Not a soul. The place is a real ghost town. Don't you worry, Nun Sarge. You've got a squad of big, strong Marines to keep you safe. Come on, team! Okay. Hurry up, squad! Double time! Ooh, another thing to loot. Okay, cool. Affirmative. Let's see what's inside. What have we got in the loot box? Oh. Move on! What have we got? Satellite communications access looks intact. More than can be said for the operator. No answers here. Looks like he killed himself. Guy must have hated his job. Don't we all? If you're done, how about getting me plugged in? On it. All right, let's see what's in there. Okay. Establishing satellite uplink. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Link established. Hmm. Looks like someone put the colony on lockdown. You know how long it'll take to burn through every door in the complex? If you can get to the township HQ, you should be able to shut off emergency status. That'll open up the doors. I can also scan for the settlers' personal data transmitters from there. Oh, we've seen okay, aliens. Squad. We know what happens there, we're there all are. and continue our path towards the colony headquarters. Cut that door open. Door open. Come on, team. I'm actually keen to see how this goes on my Steam Deck. Move on! Because I feel like this Hurry could up, be a good slums. Steam Deck game. Because the controls work really well. We're not getting through here. Looks like someone wasn't taking any chances. Squad lead, use C4 to clear the wreckage. Copy. Planting C4. Get down, it's gonna blow! Hurry up, you slugs! Well, I don't know we're here now. Alrighty. Move on! You know what this reminds me of? We don't know it was those creatures. Could be an uprising, could be anything. Stay frosty, Marines. Double time! Kill the torch thing. Yeah, nice. Come on, team! Hurry up, squad! Come on, team! Okay, that door either. Hurry up, squad! What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of skin. Did they not teach you about biohazards in the USCM? Don't touch it! You done? Good. Marines, there's something in here with us. It doesn't take a genius to guess at what. Stay sharp. 
Okay. Move on. Hurry up, you slugs. Affirmative. Planting C4. Get down, it's gonna blow! Come on, team! Hurry up, squad! Come on, team! Move on! I'm really quite tense. This is quite a tense game. Guys, I have a bad feeling about that. Come on, you've watched too many movies. It was built by the way you. It'll hold. Get us upstairs. On it. Get out of here! Now! This fragged. Nearly took us with it. We'll need another way out. Told you. Freaking told you. Right. Double time! Move, move! You're at the HQ. You should be able to deactivate lockdown. Roger. Uh, inventory is full. Double time! On it. Deactivating now. Let's hope this works. Okay, now let's check out the colonist's personal data transmitters. For that, I'll need the sector map. Go ahead and find it. Alright. Double time! Hurry up, squad! Alright, let's see what's in there. Okay. How do I change the thought? Oh, why? There we go. What have we got, Hayes? I'm reading six, uh, no, seven signals with vitals. Wait, <laughs> one's right inside the room. Hey, you! In the locker! My trigger finger's itching. So come out. But come out friendly like, yeah? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I... I just don't feel so good. Calm down, we're not gonna hurt you. What happened here? It got me. It got me like the others. It got him? What does he mean? All right, settle him down. Something... I had something on my face, and then... What the hell? Something latched onto his face. I've seen that. It's what happened to McDonald and the others on Pioneer. I... I think these creatures use us as incubators. What the hell are you talking about? The creatures on Pioneer. The thing we just saw. They're the same. One gross than the other. The... That's probably why we found that... skin down there. So we could be seeing a lot more of them here? How many? What's the population of Dead Hills? I'd start there and hope for better. Shit, man. I don't like that. Great. That's just great. Uh -oh. Securing from emergency lockdown. In five, four, three, two, one. South door is open. Stay alert, Marines. These things can attack us from every direction now. Affirmative. Right, 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 right. Let's see what's inside. Okay, let's go. Let's double time. See what's going to happen here. Hurry up, 
squad. Move on. Move, move. Come on, team. Harper, what am I looking at? An ingress point, maybe? You think this is how those things got in? Squad lead, deploy a field spotter. I want to know if anything comes out of this hole. Okay. Deploying motion tracker. Motion tracker deployed. Nice work, team. If something comes out of there, we'll get a reading. Now let's get back to those survivors. Roger. Let's see what's inside. Come on, team! It's doing such a really good job of... Like, I, I, I honestly didn't give this game much hope. Move because, on! Um... And, like, I've still got a long way to go, obviously, but it's doing all the right things from an alien franchise perspective, which is very Double cool. Double time! You know, that's the battle. You're going to put alien on the label. It's got to feel like aliens, right? Move on! I'm always sceptical with the alien license lately. With good reason, mind you. Uh, you know, apart from alien isolation... Mm, it's been a while since Double time. had Harper, decent alien stuff this? at all. Yeah, looks like the field spotters picked something up. Squad lead, check it out. Sweep and secure. Okay. Something going in there, right. Move on! Hurry up, you slugs! This is the place. Stay alert. There's something attached to his head. Careful! This is what happened to the others on Pioneer. Answer that guy in the HQ. Get it off him? Copy. Back off, the tail's constricting. It'll strangle the poor bastard. We could take him back to the Otago. Maybe Booker could. You are not taking him to Medbay. We can't risk the contamination. God damn it, all right. Can't leave him here like this. Squad lead. Put him out of his misery and then get back to the mission. Nightmares finally stopped, buddy. Next time, do it quietly. Each shot might draw this creature's attention. Double time! Try now. Mm, there we go down there. Come on, team! Safe position taken. Hurry up, squad! Double time! He's still over there, good. Hurry up, squad! Hmm, okay, we might go outside Come on, team. instead of starting an explosion. Hurry up, you slugs! Move on! You know, I want to get in there. I'm not there. Okay. Come on, team! 
Move, move! Move on! Hurry up, squad! Shh! Here's one. Oi, I didn't see him. Light him up! Move on! Watch out! Gag! Burns! It burns! I should have paid more attention. I was just running. Uh, only one person got hit with the acid. Right. Oh, there's someone coming here. Double die! He's coming out this way. I don't have enough command points. Hold on, Marines. Looks like they found us. Can't go down. Mine is bigger. There's another one coming. Zeno and approach. They got our scent. Look alive. Good job, guys. Come on, team. I might have to leave this soon. We're getting long on the video. Um, Move on. Wait. I think we lost them. Right now. No, I don't need to be here. I need to be here. Go back outside. Double time. All right. I might go and rescue this. Come on, last, team. This guy, and we'll we'll leave from there. Move, move. Move on. Too late for these poor souls. Killed from the inside. Bad way to go. Doors welded shut. Someone made the right call. Reading a personal transmitter on the other side. Could be a live one. All right, Marines. Get him out. Cut that door open. Who's there? Who are you? Are you with the company? Take it easy, man. We're the USCM Corps. I'm under the orders of Sergeant Harper and in contact with Administrator Hayes from Pioneer Station. It's Joe McAllen, technician second grade. Please, don't leave me here, please. Technician? Chief Corrigan could probably use another pair of hands. No way he's getting in my dropship. How do you know he's not infected? Infested, Hunslet. These things are parasites, not a disease. Marines, you reckon we can trust him? I mean, he welded that door pretty tight to keep these guys at bay. Just keep an eye on him, will you? Squad lead, bring him back to the ARC. But stay alert. I don't want any surprises. All right, stay calm, Joe. We're getting you out of here. Stay with us. We'll get you back to our transport. All right. On my Let's way. Loot. Let's see what's inside. Okay. Whoops. Gotta to talk to the engineer. Alrighty. Stay for we got files. Ah right, there's our files to Frosty tell us. Alright. Cool. Now where am I going? I think what do we we want to go there, I think. Move on. Move, move. Hmm. 
Oi, oi. I have multiple signals. Where, where are you, you bastards? Come on this way. Double time! signals. Here he comes. Shit, I know we're here. Bring him down! You like that, huh? That gun's a freaking lawnmower! There's another one. Coming. Looks like they found us. They're headed our way. Alright, we got more coming. Where are they coming from? Over here. Hard. Ooh, the stress levels are getting high. On it. I think we're spotted. Guy coming. Where's he coming from? Come on, team. More signals incoming. They come. Move on. Copy. Got out of there. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice, nice. I, I, I worry that that's going to get pretty stressful later on in this game, but we might leave it there because otherwise I'm going to be stuck here playing the longest player two plays ever. But this is Aliens: Dark Descent. I'm pretty impressed. It's um, it's got me in. I really want to see more. So, with that in mind, make sure you keep an eye out on player2.net.au for my review, which will be coming up soon. Also, head over there to check out our news, reviews, previews, opinion pieces, and podcasts. We have a whole bunch of stuff up there, and it's always worth checking out. Make sure you like and subscribe to the video down below. It is very much appreciated. It helps us greatly to beat that YouTube algorithm. And, you know, put a couple of dollars in our pockets. And we do have a patron, if you feel so inclined. But thank you for joining me for this episode of Player 2 Plays, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!